Hi everyone, Kimberly Burke here, clinical exercise physiologist in the Rebel Fit Club, the training center for people with Parkinson's. I had one of my fighters ask me, is there some exercises I could do while traveling? People on airplanes, long car rides are especially susceptible to blood clots or just low back pain. Is there a way to activate muscles and get a workout while seated? Absolutely. So I'm so glad you asked me. I have my favorites. The first one is gonna be the glute squeezes. We know that all movement goes through the hips. So, and these are huge muscles. So they're great for pumping the blood and helping um, blood from getting stagnant in our bodies and creating blood clots. So this is a great one for you. I used to use this as um, a first training for all my belly dancers. And it was required that they master this exercise I'm gonna show you before they could stand to do the dancing because of what I was saying with all the movement going through the hips, it's really important that you identify where your glutes are. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is a little anatomy test. So back here with your hands on your bum, I want you to feel where are those glutes, okay? And then you're gonna work your hands down under you and you're gonna feel two bones. Those are the ischial tuberosity. They are also referred to as sit bones. We need to be sitting on those bones. Now, I am on a ball. I prefer that because it keeps me on top of my spine and my pelvis. If you get sloppy with your posture on a ball, you'll fall off. So I like it because it has extra movement but you can also do this in a chair and I'm gonna show you how. So we're feeling for those sit bones now while you're back there with your fingers under your sit bones, go ahead and grab all that tissue. It's gonna be a little bit of fat, a little bit of muscle, some skin, and you're gonna move it behind you so that you can really feel what's going on. So you're gonna have both hands on, one hand on each cheek here. You're gonna be tall and the easiest part is to squeeze both sides at the same time. So go ahead and squeeze your glutes. You may not even know where your glutes are. So the first part is just identifying that squeeze. So go ahead and squeeze and release and squeeze. We're squeezing both sides. Now you notice that when I get a really good contraction of my glutes, it actually raises me up. So we're just gonna do five more of those. Five, release, four, release, three, release, two, release, and one. Now, if you didn't make it past two, that's understandable, because like I said, this is maybe really unfamiliar for you. So we want to get you acquainted. Now, so that's the easy part, <laughs> is to squeeze both of them at the same time. Now we're gonna squeeze one side and then the other. Um, before we alternate, let's just concentrate on one side. So I have my hand here and I'm gonna squeeze, let's go and squeeze for 10 times on just one side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you're releasing, this is eight nine and 10 release. Now again, if you got only to two and then you lost it, that's okay. We're gonna turn to the other side and hand on your bum and you're gonna feel for those glutes and one, release, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Okay, I'm gonna turn forward again, and now our hands are on each side. We're gonna alternate for 10. One, two, three, four. You can tell which side I'm squeezing. I think there's a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, it's close enough. Then 
After alternating, I want you to do a double squeeze and hold for the count to five. Now, you still have to breathe because we don't want you to hold your breath, but I want you to squeeze. So go ahead and squeeze both sides. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, squeeze again. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. So there's a lot of things going on there. There's squeeze and release, there's alternating and squeeze and hold. Those are all different systems that you're working, but very important. Now, if you can't sit on a ball and you're in a wheelchair or just um, a regular chair, same rules apply. You're going to get a lot more feedback from a harder surface, so you may find this is easier. So if I'm sitting up nice and tall on my sit bones, getting that tissue out behind me, feeling back here, and I'm squeezing both of them, squeeze up and down, you can see how that contraction moves me up and down. And then one side and other side. So doing this exercise in a chair, of course, um, is very practical for being in an airplane or in a car. Now, practice this ahead of time because you're not gonna be able to get your hands back there if you're in a car seat or plane. So practice ahead of time so you know what does that feel like. So if you're sitting there just like, hmm, where are, the, <laughs> where are those muscles? I'm not sure, they're right there. So that is my quick hit for today i hope you practice this i hope that answers some of your questions of course when you're riding on an airplane or in a car there's all sorts of great hand exercises but this one really gets those muscles going again all movement goes through the hips so it's important that we get these activated strong and functional so that is my quick hit for today. Practice, practice, practice. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and go to our website at rebelfitclub.com where you can answer a questionnaire. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your Parkinson's. You can also contact me directly, Kimberly at rebelfitclub.com. I'm happy to get back to you and tell you about how our programming we have live virtual, we have a virtual library of recorded classes so you could do them any time of the day. And then we have our Rebel Fit Training Center and some satellite sites also. Thank you so much for listening and as always, go forth and conquer.